Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the strongest PvE builds in New World. It revolves all around the Rapier doing the damage and the Spear for the utility. However, when we talk about this build, the Spear does some good damage as well, and there's also other ways to play this. So we're going to talk a little bit about the abilities, the perks, the different gems you should be taking in your gear, etc, etc. So let's jump into the first thing, and it's going to be talking about how the Spear Rapier build is the best in slot PvE damage when it comes to Corrupted because thrust is going to be giving you a 20% increase when it comes to Corrupted Dungeons. So that's Tempest Heart, that's Dynasty, that's the Depths, that's all of these dungeons that are going to be Corrupted focused. So here we have Spear first off. This is going to be the different abilities you're going to want to take, starting off with the, of course, Perforate, Sweep, and then Skewer. Next up, we have the Rapier. These are going to be the abilities you need to take on the Rapier for maximum damage. Evade, Flurry, and again, Tondo. Tondo is going to be a huge damage increase for your entire team, and we'll show you guys here why in just a second. So when it comes down to the gems, the rapier, first off, we're going to want the Sapphire. The Sapphire is going to give us more damage when it comes to the base weapon stat or intelligence. In this case, it's most likely going to take that intelligence, and we'll talk about as why that is. Uh, of course, you're going to want the Corrupted Bane, depending on what dungeon you're doing. Angry Earth Bane, Corrupted Bane, Ancient Bane. But you're also going to, of course, want the Vicious Perk. And the Vicious Perk is going to give you 12% critical damage at the max bonus. That's going to be huge for, obviously, your critical damage that you're going to be doing quite a bit. You also have Rogue as an option. That's going to give you the plus 19% more backstab damage. You can take either one on the Rapier or the Spear. It's up to you. Next up, we have the Cut Pristine Opal. This is going to give you 15% damage while your stamina is not full. It's going to be a great gem to slot in your spear, as well as with Corrupted Bane. Yet again, if you're going for an Angry Earth Bane, Corrupted Bane, Ancient Bane, it's according to the dungeon you're doing. We have, again, the options of Vicious, which is the critical damage, and then Rogue, which is the backstab damage. Go for either one, whatever one you know makes more sense for you. As you know, you want a viable tank if you're going to be going for the backstab because they're going to constantly have to have the back to you. Uh, we have Enfeebling Skewer here, so Skewer hits apply weaken, reducing targets damage by 44% for 8 seconds. These are all the perks, by the way, you're going to want on your spear and your rapier. But I want to jump into some of the different perks you're going to want in on your gear. So here we have Leeching Flurry as the first one. So if it's on the gear, it's actually going to restore 29% of the damage as health which is a huge, huge bonus for you. It's going to give you a lot of health back, give you quite a bit of sustain. And here we have the Enfeebling Skewer again. You're not going to want this perk twice. However, if you can't get it on a weapon, make sure to have it on a piece of gear because it's a huge bonus to your team to not really be dying as much with that Enfeebling Skewer taking so much of their attack away. We also have Omni Directional Evade. So this gives you a huge damage bonus when you have it on your piece of gear. It's going to give you a 10% damage for two seconds, and you can actually evade in any direction as well, which is really cool. Here we have Fortifying Perforate. It's not as big now since you switch weapons and it goes off of your, uh, you know, off of your person. But gain a stack of Fortify, increasing damage absorption by 9.6% for six seconds. A huge amount of damage absorption if you are looking for something that is going to keep you alive more. Keen Tondo, increase crit chance by 21% against targets affected by Tondo's bleed but it's going to be 12% when it's on a piece of gear, which we're going to most likely want this on a piece of gear. It's going to give you a bonus, like I said, to everybody on your team, doing more damage across the board. Next up, we have Bleeding Sweep. Bleeding Sweep's huge as well because it's going to apply bleed for 9.6% of weapon damage for 8 seconds. That's a long time, and it's also going to apply that debuff and really help you do overall more damage with the Bleeding Sweep, as it's definitely a, uh, a perk you should be looking for on a piece of gear as well. So, next up in line, I want to talk about some of the attributes you're going to want to take with this Spear Rapier build. So, if you're looking for a 5-con build, you're going to want the Strength at 5, Dexterity at 300, and 210 Intelligence. This is going to be a full glass cannon, full DPS build. You can do this in M10s. We've seen it done many, many times. You're just going to want to make sure you have a very solid tank and a very solid healer to keep you at full and keep the aggro away from you. So if you are looking to make the spear your main, you are going to want 50 strength, 265 dexterity, and then 150 intelligence. Typically, you're going to make the rapier your main, and I would definitely focus on doing the most damage with that rapier build. 
So here again, we have the damage effectiveness, the thrust being that 20% bonus damage to corrupted. And you can see that there's no decreases anymore. So you can use this build anywhere in any dungeon and it's going to have viability. And that's something that I love to see. I also want to talk about how you should be playing the rapier spear. So if we take a look at some of the dungeons, you know, when you're running through these dungeons, there's a lot of reasons to run 100 con if you are dying a lot, because you always want to make sure the number one priority is that you're not dying, right? So if you're dying a ton, make sure to add some constitution. You can go up to 100 con or even more. Typically, 100 con is going to help you quite a bit. So if you are running the depths, has a lot of damage in the depths, 100 constitution is probably going to be the answer for where you so if you're running the depths, I would suggest getting that 100 constitution. Also, Enfeebling Skewer is great for Corrupted Expeditions. We've talked about this. Make sure to grab Enfeebling Skewer. It's going to be massive. Rapier is, by the way, your main source of damage for this build. We've talked about how much damage it does and the sustain it provides. So only use Spear to apply Rend and Weaken. And also try to flurry two or more mobs to get instant resets. And remember to animation cancel Tondo with Evade. So as soon as you Tondo, make sure to Evade right afterwards to remain attacking and doing the most amount of damage you possibly can do with those backstabs and crits. I also want to talk a little bit about the build altogether. When it comes to running it into Corrupted Dungeons, you're going to have that bonus of 20%, which makes it, like I said, the highest PvE damage build for Corrupted Dungeons across the board. And that's something that really, really means a lot to a people that want to get these dungeons done quickly. We know Tempest Heart is definitely one of the longest right now, and getting that dungeon or getting it done quickly is something that kind of is difficult to do. So I want to talk also about the stream schedule. If you guys don't know, I do stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash iGraphicEye. If you guys want to see more about it, it's Monday, 6 p.m. Eastern, Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern as well. So if you guys want to tune in, definitely do so. We run mutated dungeons, but we also do a lot of PvE uh, things outside of dungeons, and we also do PvP stuff outside of dungeons as well. Obviously, there's no PvP in those dungeons. So, But I also want to talk about the YouTube channel real quickly. If you guys haven't already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. With fresh starts and so much new content with Brimstone Sands and so much stuff coming very, very soon with raid bosses and new dungeon, all of these things, there's a lot to talk about, and we're going to cover it all on the channel. And I also want to know if there's any builds that I'm missing. Obviously, we're going to be making a tank build very, very soon. We focused on two DPS builds, a live staff build. We're going to be heading over toward, of course, that tank build and the guide over the entire tank build very, very soon because... New World, let's face it, doesn't have enough tanks in the game, and it's very hard to find a tank if you're looking for public matches or public uh, dungeon groups. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the videos. Like I said previously, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. If you guys want to learn more about these builds and guides and everything, support the channel by liking it and getting involved with the Twitch stream as well. So twitch.tv slash iGraphicGuy. I'll see you guys all in the next one.